This is a quick demonstration of a 224 line decoder based on tiny FPGA board. So uh, on the left side, I have a switch bank, and uh, obviously I'm only using the first and second switch to toggle the input states. We have two bit input, and we have four bits output, uh, which is indicated by one, two, three, four, those four LED bars. And those LED bars, LED bars are connected with the output of the FPGA. Okay, so pretty much I'm using pin 12, pin 13 to control the input okay, as input of the system. And the pin 11, 10, 9, 8 on the tiny FPGA board uh, as the output for the 224 decoder. And the 224 decoder was implemented using very large code and uh, we downloaded uh, into the tiny FPGA uh, using Atom uh, APU integrated design environment. For the LED bars, I have resistors serving as resist, uh, resistive uh, current limit limiter so that we can protect the LED to limit the current. Okay? For the switch, I have pull down resistors so that we can provide both zero and one, depending on the state of the switch. Okay, with, without those uh, pull down resistors, we cannot toggle between zero and one. All right. On the left side, I have an LED bar, another LED bar. This one is served as an indicator of the input value. You don't have to get that for your project. Okay, as long as you can show the output, you should be fine. All right, but. Uh, here, I'm just making it more convenient to see what's the input value. Currently, the first and second switch are toggled to zero state. So no LED bar is uh, turned on. We are looking at input of zero, zero. And output, we have four bars from left, zero, 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 one, okay? This makes sense. Input is zero, zero, and output D0 is turned on, okay? Now I'm going to toggle the second bit to value of 1. Okay, With that, I have input of 0, 1. And uh, our output becomes 0, 0, 1, 0. Pretty much now D1 is turned on. Okay, Next, I'm going to toggle to 1, 0. Okay? I have 0, 0. I'm going to do 1, 0. Okay? Now I have 1, 0. And output side, I have 0, 1, 0, 0. That means D2 is turned on. Makes sense. And uh, finally, let's toggle on both input pins. Pins. I have 1, 1 as the input. And output side, we have 1, 0, 0, 0. D3 is now turned on. Okay.